welcome back to another video so today I'm going to show you how I made a zero dollar hand crank generator great for lighting your way through the darkness starting fires and so much more first we have to make some gears to do that we have to make a paper template I used Matthias Wandel's gear generator program I printed two big gears and two smaller ones. I then cut all the gears out and stick them to a piece of sutter ply. After they dried, I jigged them out into squares before cutting close to the edge of the gear teeth. I used a screwdriver to punch a hole between each pair of gear teeth. I clamp the gear against a piece of sacrificial wood to reduce any tear off. I then cut out the right side of every gear tube. And now for the left side. So with our gears finally cut, I'm going to start filing them because they are still a little bit rough around the edges. With our gears now sanded nice and smooth, now we need to make some sort of a frame to hold them in place. I measured out the width to be about the same size as the largest gear and made a center line that will be useful later. I lay the gears on the frame which seemed to be a bit too long and after cutting it a bit shorter I decided I want the handle. I drew up a little rectangle and jigged it out. So with all our pieces cut I think we should start getting this thing together. I drilled a hole in the side of one of the larger gears to add a little lever which will help turn the gears and draw the center out to fit a few bearings. I then repeated the steps to the next two gears and joined them together with some glue. I made a mark where the gears are going to be placed on the center line, drilled the holes out and added a recess at the back to ensure the screws will reach all the way through. I added this wooden wheel to act as a spacer to the bottom of the drive gear to ensure it will make contact with the next gear. So for our last gear, I'm going to use this tiny little drill bit to drill out the hole through here and mark the space out. So now we just need to get our hands on a motor to generate some electricity. I have this old beat up printer that do have a few motors in it. With some effort, I got one of them out, drilled a hole that was a bit too large for the motor. I then wrapped some of this PVC tape around it for a snug fit and squeezed the gear onto the motor soft. The generator gave me a reading of 1.5 volt, kind of what you would expect from a AA battery. But if I was really ambitious, it could go up to 2 volts. Alright, let's see what we can power with this thing. So that's gonna do it for this video and let me know if any of you want some of these first attempt gears I made. They're still a bit rough around the edges but I put a stamp on it and mail it to you. Just leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.